know electric drive is exciting and has great potential, and we marry it up with connected vehicle technology, we believe we can get to footprints of this size. If it really does what we think it can do, one third to one fourth the cost, total cost per mile, and um, to be able to do that with zero emissions and renewable sources of energy, I think it could tip and it could move pretty fast, given the urgency of the issues we're trying to solve, dependence on oil, global climate change. We could go put this in production uh, as soon as we decide, uh, General Motors and Segways decide to move this forward. Uh, the technology is all here now. Um, regarding infrastructure, we're looking for uh, some city or town that may uh, want to commit to this type of an approach for urban transportation. We have some in mind. In fact, some are outside the United States. Uh, there are countries and cities around the world that are really committed to electric green, clean transportation solutions. Uh, areas in Paris, areas at Singapore, certainly London. In the United States, there are some great cities that we have uh, looked at as well. So we're looking for cooperation and partnerships in some cities around the world to do this. We feel that this is a better way for people to move around. It's going to be cheaper, it's going to be faster, it's going to be safer, it's going to be cleaner, it's going to be an easier ride. Imagine driving to work or being driven to work by this vehicle, almost like being in a taxi but without the taxi driver, and it taking you to where you need to go, and then you get out, go to work, and the vehicle goes and parks itself. And then when you finish your meeting or finish for the day, you call the vehicle and it comes to pick you up, almost like a ballet, ballet parking service, but without the valet. Twenty years ago, computers were standalone products on a desktop, for example. They didn't talk to each other. But think how much more useful a computer has become as it's been able to connect to the Internet. And what we're envisaging here is something very similar, but for vehicles. Vehicles will be able to communicate with each other, with intersections, with the uh, parking lots, so they can find parking more easily. And you'll be able to communicate with other people. If these vehicles are driving you, you can sit back and relax and maybe do a video conference and talk to people as if you're at work or at home. I think we have to fundamentally change the way we get around in cities. The way we do it now is fundamentally unsustainable and, and the unsustainability of it shows up in a number of ways. It shows up in excessive energy consumption, it shows up in excessive oil dependence, it shows up in uh, um, excessive um, carbon emissions, it shows up in congestion. So I don't believe that incremental changes in, in uh, technology and, and, and the sorts of products we use to get around cities are really going to do the job. We have to fundamentally rethink the way we get around in cities.
I think if it's priced right, it's going to do well. If you have brakes on it, you'll do even better in uh, tight traffic like New York, and it's small enough to fit in a parking spot. So you got good potential. I think it's all based on how it's priced. Would you drive one? I would consider it, sure.